Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today is the day three for our PCNSA series. So in this video, we are going to talk about Palo Alto as a company. So what exactly a Palo Alto Networks is? What product they are offering? And why Palo Alto Firewall is the best firewall? What are the type of firewall they offer? We are going to explore the Palo Alto Network as a company. How it started, who is the founder and what product portfolio or product they are offering. In firewall, they have any other types of firewall they offer. Everything we are going to discuss about it. Because if you want to become a Palo Alto Firewall engineer, you should know what Palo Alto company is doing. Okay, so if you are going for an interview, if they are start asking about Palo Alto Networks, you should know or if you are going for Palo Alto Networks company for an interview, you should also know about the insight of the company. So this is very much important guys. I'll request or I'll recommend you to watch this video till the end so that you can understand all this information and you can keep this information with you so that you it will be useful in the future or if you're going for an interview this will be helpful and also as a company if you know about it what product they offers you can learn those technologies as well okay and also i'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit bell, bell icon so that you never miss a bit of from me so without any further delay let's get started channel you can just go and click on the uh, network support join button and you can join uh, this will basically support me to create more content of this and basically in a very better way okay uh, you don't need to join this fi uh, firewall army because i'm not offering right now anything so in upcoming uh, months i am do i'm planning to do live streaming for firewall army not right now so once it is full-fledged i'll be asking you or i'll be sending you the schedule how we can do the firewall army live streaming with you guys okay so friends let's understand what is palo alto network as a company so before we proceed further let me tell you a fact guys so if you guys know about stateful firewall which i have covered in my last session so stateful firewall basically it records the session uh, information when the traffic passes through the particular firewall so stateful firewall is very much important and nowadays all the firewalls if i talk about checkpoint if i talk about uh, palo alto cisco fortigate juniper cyber rom dell sonic so whatever the firewall that you see in the market all are stateful and you know guys who basically invented this this is invented by checkpoint and the team who invented this particular stateful firewall nirzuk who is the founder of palo alto network he was the part of that particular team and later he founded palo alto so Palo Alto is a multinational cyber security company. Okay. Now headquarters is in Santa Clara, which is in California, United States. The revenue is 5.5 billion USD in 2002. I'm just telling you the one year or maybe. And the CEO is Nikesh Arora. You can just find it out. And the number employee is 12,000. It was founded in 2005. And it provides cyber security solutions and the platform as well. We'll talk about what are the products they offer. Okay. But for now, you just understand how big the company is, how much they are, the revenue is. If you want to get the information about the revenue for the current year, you can just go and go and Google it you'll get to know about it so Palo Alto Networks is very big company okay once you learn the product they if you understand the market like uh, if you understand that portfolios you can understand how much market they have acquired right so let's uh, go further and let's understand what are the products they offer so friends what exactly the 
product they offer okay so before we understand about the product portfolio let's understand the today's network so this is just an uh, sample diagram guys so we will be having some devices on on prem okay so you can see on prem 1 on prem 2 okay and after that we have some clouds as well right and to protect them we have to have a team which is known as security operation center where they basically monitor any attacks that is happening into our environment in the cloud or on-prem environment and also we have some spaces for automation so these are the combinations we will be seeing in the enterprise environment guys so let's understand with this particular diagram or image that we are having so Palo Alto basically divided their product line into three different areas. One is called as Tata, other called as Prisma and Cortex. Now Tata is basically primarily for our firewalls and panorama. Prisma is for the cloud solution and Cortex is for SOC solution. SOC is security operation center, which is basically you can say cyber security, right? So Stata is nothing but basically what happens in the Stata. We have different kinds of product which can support or which you can build it for data center. Maybe you can build a virtualized data center or you have physical data centers. We have those devices internet parameter branch mobile f f uh, 5g and iot devices endpoints like we will be having global protect and all which we are going to talk about that and we have something called as prisma prisma is basically it is a cloud solution now we we need to monitor the vms we need to monitor the network whether the compliance is uh, happening properly for that whether the data transfer is basically the data is saved on the cloud properly in a pr pr proper encryption algorithms and all and in cortex the products are basically for our attacks so threat attacks or network behavior network traffic behaviors will try to analyze it will detect any kind of uh, uh, attacks will respond to that particular attacks and also we have a option for or we have that product for automation and orchestration so if i want to automate something okay we can have with the help of this product we can basically do that so if you try to understand the enterprise network as we have seen here now for every requirement there is a device or there is a product in Palo Alto firewall that is the reason it is capturing the market like anything okay so if you try to understand the enterprise uh, network or let's say if it is a small network it's a medium network enterprise network large network large data center in every space they have the product and we can deploy that particular product from Palo Alto even if you think broadly if you want to create your security environment with the help of Palo Alto with the help of this product line you can create a security environment your firewalls your cloud uh, protection your SOC environment your automation everything will be uh, everything you can basically build with the help of Palo Alto products okay so friends let's understand why Palo Alto firewall is the best firewall in the market okay so I have taken this screenshot guys uh, with the help of this screenshot we'll try to understand I have taken it from Gartner report so what Gartner report says is the Palo Alto networks is the leader in the market and what they are they are an organization which basically tests the firewalls on different different condition like checking the performance checking the um, security test and there are so many parameters and after testing those they'll generate or they'll publish this report in the market so as per them uh, Palo Alto ranks the best and we have Fortigate, Cisco and Checkpoint they are also the leaders but 
Palo Alto ranks the first here. That is the reason it is. It says that it is the best firewall in the market, right? So basically, the best firewall. If I talk about best firewall, as a company, as we have seen, they have a portfolio for security. So if a company is not moving towards firewall, they have their own product for cloud for automation so they can take any other product because their focus area is is a security now if i talk about security every company needs security so their focus area is security and they have different kinds of product in the security field so if they are not moving to the firewall they might go to sd wan solution they might go to uh, automation solution they might go to sock solution they might go to cloud solution so they have different products as well so their market area is very wide their market for the security space is more so they have different kind of product and they are capturing those market that is the reason palo alto networks is a huge company in terms of security cyber security right so if you understand their products and if you know how to configure them the opportunities are endless nowadays in any company if you go to any company they have a few products from palo alto okay so friends now we'll understand what are the types of firewall they basically offers with the help of this image we'll try to understand so as they say it's a flexible architect okay now they are having a hardware palo alto they are having software which is a vm cn series devices and they have cloud services prisma access okay and they have a product in the tower as well which is basically to support 5g or iot devices okay so let's understand so as we know physical devices that uh, it is ranging from 220 to 7000 series series devices we have vm devices which will be installed in the vm or to protect the vm traffic what is cn devices now if you guys know about kubernetes so kubernetes is basically a small devices like how the vms are there right so the more uh, the vm what the resource the vm is capturing the kubernetes are the lesser one basically what i'm trying to say is they are very small devices compared to vms okay so for that if they are also initiating the traffic to protect them we have cn devices as well right and those cm devices also protects your application id url filtering and you have threat intelligence and all those things right so even if your environment has kubernetes if your environment has vm devices or virtualized environment if you have a physical environment everywhere and every type of devices you will be getting from palo alto right and we have something called as prisma access now prisma access is basically a rent firewall rented firewall from palo alto so let's say if you don't want to keep the firewall inside your premises and you have a very small company you don't want the firewall to be placed inside the uh, inside the organization or the users are basically based out of home or they are working from home so directly they will be connecting to this firewall and from the firewall they can access the internet data center or any SaaS application like office 365 and all right so basically you can create or you can take the firewall on rent and on the cloud itself you can configure the firewall the way we configure the firewall it is little bit different but it works the same way i'm just giving you a high level overview there are so many things that you can do with the firewall and there are so many things you have to do it in the rent the firewall this is just a small overview for a beginner okay and also let's say you have a big factory where everyone cannot be connected with access points right 
uh, through the towers if they are connecting in the factories so in the tower itself you can have this firewall ready you can put the firewall in uh, in, in this tower and you can filter the traffic as well so in every condition whether it can be a cloud it can be a virtual environment uh, whether it can be a physical environment whether it can be a factory whether it can be office everything for every condition the there is a firewall offered by Palo Alto so you can think about the opportunity you will be having once you understand firewall right there is no much difference configuring these devices because they operate in the same or a same similar way like how you configure a physical device there are few features will be not there and there are few features will be there in different like Palo Alto supports VCs VM device it doesn't support it so same kind of thing there are a few things which will be supported by some model there are a few things which is not supported by other model but the configuration the way of working it will be same for all the firewalls right so you think about any situation or any condition of an organization Palo Alto has their product and they have the solution okay so that is the reason I am focusing to learn Palo Alto devices it's it's a it's a match massive opportunity guys for you so I'll highly recommend just try to understand all the products from Palo Alto at least you will be having um, the the future they, they are basically building their futures in security space so if you want to build your career into security Palo Alto network products are very good okay I'm not telling you should not learn Fortigate you should not learn Cisco you should not learn Juniper you should not learn Cyberom you should not learn Checkpoint no you should also learn those technology but the market is right now pointing to Palo Alto network so I'll highly recommend try to learn this and all other devices are same so if you learn this device as well those are same and you can learn those as well okay so this is what I wanted to cover in this video guys thank you so much and uh, I'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any video from me. Thank you and I'll see you in the next.